Hey everybody, I'm Alabama Boss, and today we're gonna be making a fishing rod holder out of none other than shotgun shells. If you're anything like me, you probably got fishing rods laid in the corner of the garage, stood up, they get their eyes broke on them, they get damaged, and you probably got some empty shotgun shells laying around. If you don't have any empties laying around, go shoot some, get some empties, and make a fishing rod holder. This right here is a real simple build. You get your empty shotgun shells, a little scrap piece of wood, pretty it up a little bit, and that's all you're gonna need other than a few screws. For this little build right here, we're gonna use a scrap piece of pine we had laying around that we kind of prettied up a little bit, sanded off. You can use whatever you want, however length. This one right here is about 16, 18 inches. You know, if you wanna make a bigger one or a prettier one, you can do that, it doesn't matter. It really depends on how many rods you wanna put in this rod holder. The next thing you wanna do is cut your shotgun shells. Cut these shells off just above the brass. Be careful as to not cut off your index finger, especially if it's your trigger finger. I recommend you use low brass shells because if you get a high brass shell, you're gonna have a big thick piece of plastic in here that comes way up. So to get more of the rod holder part of this, use low brass shotgun shells. I love that smell. Once you have all your primer ends removed, we're gonna get a pair of scissors, and we'll just cut these right up the middle. That's where your rod's gonna go in at. We'll slice each one of them nice and straight so the rod will go in there real good and pretty. You don't want your rod falling out. You want these to stay nice and tight. All right, we're gonna be using four shotgun shells on this board, so we marked everything off so it'll be spaced out correctly. Now we're gonna put them on a the board. All you need is a couple screws, Get everything marked off, and we're gonna put it where the primer end is up on all these that we cut off. That way they all match. And again, you can get real creative with this, get different colored shot shells, it doesn't matter. And you can spread these wide open, they'll go right back to where they came from. All right, we're gonna put two screws in it, one at the top, one at the bottom. All right, there you have it, it's done. Everything's ready to go, it's going on the wall now. I like to put wood screws inside here so you don't see them. If you stick it to the stud in the wall, if you're gonna hang it from a back, it's a different story, but if you wanna hide the screws, just go through here inside the shell case and you won't be able to see the screw heads. There you have it, fishing rod holder with shotgun shells. If you spend more than $5 on this, you've done it wrong. Be sure to head on over to Raider Ridge YouTube channel and hit subscribe. I'm Alabama Boss.